Well, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to my blog. I've had a long break after my mother's death, and um, I'm now getting back into doing the work that I was doing before. This is a, uh, a walk around of a vehicle which has just been purchased in the last couple of weeks for, through a friend of mine as his drive car. It's an NC Fairlane, an LTD version, 3.9 litre, four speed automatic. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. We paid $990 for it um, on eBay. It needs a bit of work. Drove it up from Brisbane yesterday and found that it would only top out to about 108 k's an hour. It's on only running on uh, five of its six cylinders at the present time. Uh, we'll take steps to fix that little problem up. All right, we have a few problems here to correct. One is this cracked glass in the front headlight here. Um, we have a Um, a couple of um, side lamps which need some attention with the uh, bulbs and so forth have um, an engine which is uh, requiring uh, some attention as well um, we're not quite sure what the problem is going to be it's definitely running hot so I'm going to have to start off by flushing the radiator give the motor a good clean down first the um, steering uh, pump is leaking had to top that up we're going to change the um, water reservoir here we'll also give the brakes a good flushing out we'll change the leads uh, spark plugs we'll go down in here and we'll service the uh, service the um, um, throttle body, couldn't think of its name for a minute, it hides down underneath the uh, manifold there, very difficult to get out, to get out you've actually got to remove all this stuff here, uh, it's all got to come off, that needs to come off, we've got to take off um, the shroud off the front here, uh, and of course it'll get a good oil change, that's the uh, pressure regulator there, that little fellow there, that we're looking at at the present time, we'll check that, we'll check the um, um, fuel pump make sure all the injectors are, are good I'll put some um, cleaner in the through the injectors for uh, to give them a bit of a clean up on the way up here I think that made a difference to it but uh, basically the car is running extremely hot we'll change the uh, we'll change the um, um, O2 sensor which is that fellow down there let's just have a look at this and see if it's got oil in it yeah, it's looking pretty clean there. We'll give that a service and flush out though, just the same. Brake fluid level's okay on it at the moment. Brake fluid level's good. Rides extremely well. Uh, it has the usual minor problems that you'd expect a car which is 20 odd years old. Paints off on it. Um, has a bit of rust down the bottom of the guard there. That's not a critical problem. We'll get in behind that and see what's going on. Uh, it has a minor blemish there. The two back tyres are shot. They've had better days, there's no doubt about that. Um, the uh, left hand rear glass is cracked, but we can get one of them, a good one of them from the wreckers. That's a shot of the other tyre down here, which is disgustingly bald. It's had new um, rear shockers fitted to it. We have a rust problem here, right there, where my finger is, if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. That's the finger. Yeah, rust problem there. That's typical of those. There's no paint in there. We have a uh, crease in the back door here, right there, and that can be pushed out. Interior-wise, the car's pretty good. The upholstery's good in it. Upholstery's good. Seats are good. Everything's okay, everything works on the dash. Got a good steering wheel up there. Looking in the back here. Through the window, it's in pretty good shape in there too. Good um, 
uh, mats and so forth in it. Uh, paint work does need a bit of attention, but really nothing terribly wonderful as far as that's concerned. Haven't been under the car yet, but we'll get there. Interior of the boot's extremely good. We'll just start it up, and you can see the fact that it doesn't run very well. There we go. Starts well enough. But, it's got a bad order. Now that can be caused by any one of a number of things. Um, which I've already talked about. The front belt here. Running the Pretty poor shape, seems to be out of line. Um, it's flapping away to itself there. The alternator in the car is not very good, so we've got another one that's been given to us to replace it with, but it's an absolute pig to get at, but you have to take that off, plus the shroud, and give yourself access in there. Well, chain definitely needed. So, it doesn't like the rev, won't pull out at all. We, uh, Cables are ordinary, and you can see this one's not very good here. Yeah. Come on there, very good. Okay, so that. Uh, there's a few things to do there, but it's all in all, it's not a bad old thing, and for $990, I reckon it's pretty good. Anyway, we'll put this up, we'll film the other things as we do it. Uh, take it out for a road test as soon as we get it registered. Probably reach it and put back on the road. Need to be able to do various things to it. Anyway, folks, that's about the size of it at the present time. Look forward to doing more videos and having a, uh, a good chat to you all, showing you how, what we're doing and how we're doing it. And um, as you know, uh, we work with anything that's got four wheels and an engine. Thanks for watching.